Nobody saw this coming, but the Las Vegas Aces have quite a few reasons to celebrate after the big game on Sunday. Their two top scorers just finished the 2022 season by setting an awesome record. Yeah, that's how huge the WNBA is getting, and we're all for it. In this video, we'll be talking about how Kelsey Plum and Asia Wilson are the first duo in history to have collective 700 plus points in a single season. First off, here's how the Aces held off Seattle Storm. This is the regular season finale that we're talking about. Heading into the game, everyone knew it was a big deal, and trust us, we were on the edge of our seats. With barely a minute left to play, the Aces were clinging to their three-point lead over the Storm. And then, the unexpected happened. Storm took the ball under the basket as Brianna Stewart broke free for an easy layup. We thought the Aces were about to go down. Then, before we knew it, Wilson made an awesome recovery. She was just in time with that rejection that kicked off a fast break. And on the other end of the court, Chelsea Gray found Plum for her dagger three-pointer. Next up, it was a thrilling win. Despite the occasional timeouts, a few fouls, and some obligatory free throws, the Aces secured a thrilling one 9 to 100 win and with that they finished the season 26 and 10 and secured the most wins throughout franchise history they bagged the number one seed and the epic home court advantage for the wnba playoffs in a statement wilson couldn't help but say that getting the number one seed is pretty cool she said they've been here before so the job definitely isn't done yet according to her the team needs to continue to work themselves and understand the system and of course have fun with it and get this plum and wilson got the big games but there was one other player too if there's one thing that we already knew about this game, it was that Wilson and Plum were all set to blow us away, and of course, they didn't disappoint. They have a combined 48 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists, and 4 steals, all in one game. But hey, we can't forget to give an honorary mention to Gray either. The veteran point guard kept her control in the game from the opening tip, finishing with an all-new career record of 33 points on 10 of 15 from the field, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds. We dug up some information from WNBA history and found that the last player to have a similar record as Gray is Candace Parker. She had the same 33 points, 7 rebounds, and 9 assists, but that's not even the most interesting part. Back in 2018, when she set the record, she was actually playing against the Aces. Oh, how the tables have turned. We know those are just some arbitrary cutoff points, but there's no denying that Gray's performance was worth a mention. Towards the end of the third quarter, Gray helped that massive 12-0 run when the Aces finally erased their double-digit deficit. That's what got them the lead going into the fourth, and in the final possession, Gray effortlessly stole a pass from Brianne January, literally raced down the floor, and drilled that three from the top of the key. And get this, Gray didn't only help the Aces get a jump start in the fourth, but she kept being a huge support. She hit a few big jumpers in the beginning before getting to the line for a sequence of free throws. And if you want to talk about the final seven minutes, then Gray went to show-stopping 11 of 11 from the line. In fact, she had 16 of 31 points for the Aces in the fourth quarter. Now, Plum and Wilson's grand total is off the charts. The road to victory hasn't been easy, but both these players have been on a roll ever since the season began. On their way to this awesome win over the Storm, Wilson ended up scoring 25 points to reach a total of 703 points herself. Plum finished the game at a close second with 23 points of her own, but her total is at a whopping 719 points for the season. But wait, why is that important? Well, if you may know, then this is the first time in all of WNBA history that two players at the same time each scored over 700 points in a season. Both Plum and Wilson are set to finish the season in the top five positions, with Plum bagging the number two spot right behind Storm Stewart. Wilson has an average of 19.5 points per game, placing her at the fifth position on season rankings. So, what's next for the Aces? The game isn't over with this thrilling win. In fact, it's only starting to get intense. The Las Vegas Aces are headed into the postseason with the number one seed at 26 and 10. This means they'll either be up against the New York Liberty or the Phoenix Mercury in first round playoffs. Now, Mercury will only play the Aces if they lose to Chicago Sky in the regular season finale. Otherwise, we're pretty excited to see Sabrina Ionescu and the Liberty team try and take down the Aces' top two stars. And now, for some other WNBA news. First up, let's talk about the 2023 draft lottery. We might be looking ahead of ourselves, but the regular season coming to an end only reminds us that the odds for the 2023 draft lottery are in. Let's take this moment to remind you that the WNBA's lottery odds are based on combined records from the two previous seasons. Also, remember how the Washington Mystics traded the number one pick in this year's draft to the Atlanta Dream? Well, they also got swap rights to the Los Angeles Sparks 2023 first round pick, and we're pretty sure they'll be taking that deal. Now, the Indiana Fever has been quite a disaster for the past few years. They closed this season with an 18-game losing streak, and that's a whole new record for their franchise and in WNBA history. They've lost like 23 games in double digits, and we're not even kidding. But hey, they're preparing for a sixth consecutive lottery appearance, and they might just get the number one pick for the very first time. The Atlanta Dream hadn't had any better luck either. They had quite a disastrous 2021, but they did quite the reboot and surprised us in the first few months. But between those unexpected injuries and a sheer lack of talent, they ended up missing the playoffs 
playoffs by just one game. Ouch. But that's probably for the best because it gives them a chance at the number one pick at the lottery again. Also, if you were wondering, the projected number one pick is probably going to South Carolina's Aaliyah Boston. She bagged quite a few awards last season, including the NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player. We can't wait to see what's next for Boston. Next up, what are the current standings? All right, the WNBA regular season is finally over, and it was a dramatic affair, to say the least. Now, we need to hit you with the news that the WNBA has changed the playoff system. Again, don't worry, the top eight teams are still making the playoffs, but there are no more buys. Instead of that, each team is going to play with a standard bracket format. This means number one seed against number eight, number two against number seven, and so on. You get it. Now, these brackets will not be reseeded after the first round. In fact, the matchups will be like a best of three series. The semifinals and finals are a best of five series with that 2-2-1 two, two, and one format. At the moment, the aces are on the top of the list. Then we've got Chicago Sky, Connecticut Sun, Seattle Storm, Washington Mystics, Dallas Wings, New York Liberty, and finally, Phoenix Mercury, who quite literally made it to the playoffs by an inch. As for the Minnesota Lynx, Atlanta Dream, LA Sparks, and Indiana Fever, they've secured places for the lottery next season. That's it. And lastly, we're super excited for the playoffs to begin. The games are set to kick off in two days, and all we know is that they're happening. No, really, the WNBA feels super wide open this season. For all we know, anyone could be taking that trophy home. Now, the Aces are entering the postseason as fan favorites, but any of the top five seeds could end up being the winners. Las Vegas has the league's best offense, and the gap between them and the Aces' number one offense is pretty wide. The game is about to slow down a bit in the playoffs, so can Vegas' emphasis on offense continue to take them forward? Both the Chicago Sky and the Connecticut Sun feel like the two most balanced teams right now. The Sun has a net rating of 9.5, and let's not forget how Sky was the title favorite last season. The New York Liberty looks like it has the biggest threat to pull a first-round upset this time around. Even though Sabrina Ionescu has been sensational this season, can the franchise really take down the defending champs? All this and much more is set to go down on Wednesday, 17th of August, so don't miss it. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Plum and Wilson's big victory? Can they take their team through the final run? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you next time.